Coach Kurt Miller, go ahead and fire away with your question. Wondering about 200. Well, it, uh, when you reflect and take a couple of days after the 200th win, uh, the first thing you think about is all the players that you coached. And I did it with the same coaching staff alongside of me the whole time. So it's not only accomplishment uh, for myself, but obviously the whole coaching staff. And uh, we had a lot of fun stories on the way home uh, the other night from Akron about where we came from since 2001. But credit to the great players that we coached and again, Happy for the entire program. Great tradition here, and uh, it's a really exciting time. In terms of uh, just, I mean, it seems like it's going by pretty fast to reach 200. It's been an unbelievable journey. This year, uh, another case in point. Can't believe we only have three games left. You know, still feel like we have a lot of teaching uh, ahead of us, but uh, a very, very fast year. So. Um, not until recently when all my Colorado State players realized the milestone was coming and my three years out there that they all started reconnecting with me that you realize that I haven't seen a lot of them for almost 10 years now. Um, that uh, the journey has been really fast and uh, the only thing that wakes you up is looking at pictures from 10 years ago and what you look like then compared to what you look like now after being a head coach. But uh, it's been a fun journey. Well, to be mentioned in the same category with some of the great coaches, uh, like Coach Lindsey, who is my mentor getting in, but I have ultimate respect for Bill Finley and Mark Elin, who really did a great job at Toledo. Uh, to even be mentioned with them is kind of numbing because I still look up to them. I still believe they're elite coaches, and then I still have a lot of growing and learning to do. And you know, after we got beat by Central, the first thing that I couldn't wait to do was study with a WNBA coach to figure out what I could have done better for our team in that Central Michigan game. So I still view myself as a young coach that's still learning. Uh, and, uh, but to be mentioned with some of the greats in the MAC that I look up to that, that were, are, are and continue to be very successful um, is, is almost overwhelming. Well, if we've done anything right, uh, when, we, when we got here in 2001 and had to rebuild the foundation and start over again, that they were involved with every single decision and uh, they have a voice on everything that we do. And today's staff meeting, for a perfect example, I wouldn't even decide the little things uh, within the program that we needed to decide this morning without running it by them. And so uh, they, have a, they have a say, they have a voice in everything we do, and because of that, there's an ownership for them also that is just not one person's program, it's all of our programs, and they have been a huge part of it. It was a big win for Northern and uh, happy, but that's what can happen in this league when you get an injured player back. And Northern has played most of the year uh, without their starting center, who is an all Mac caliber player. She comes back, uh, gives them a spark emotionally, gives them a spark on the floor, and all of a sudden pulls a big upset. But it's also how hard it is to win on the road. Uh, upsets aren't over in this league. You're gonna see more in the last three games. And uh, I think we're all leery of that, how hard right now uh, it is to win on the road in this MAC conference. Having said that, that leads into Buffalo then for you? Absolutely. You just talk about, I mean, they still have Courtney Brown. She's been there about eight years. You just talk about that. Well, I think you can bring up Buffalo right away in two different areas. Um, you can bring up the first game of the year, where for the first 18 minutes they were ahead of us. Uh, and then we found a way to win by 18. So the number of the day today for us is 18. Do we remember and learn why we were trailing 18 minutes into the game? Or do we remember and learn from why we found a way to win by 18? Then the other uh, Buffalo story, obviously, for our team is, is with a very, very talented team last year, went up there and survived in an overtime classic. And we had to break NCAA records last year to beat them in overtime uh, with Tracy Pontius's explosion from the three-point line. So we know we could have very easily lost there last year. So 
Uh, it's a very, very tough place to play. It's a long road trip for us and we have to be focused and that starts today in practice with our preparation. You know, we're creatures of habit. We, we were pretty um, typical with our uh, travel schedule. We're a little bit superstitious. Uh, the only thing with the Buffalo trip is we'll get out of here on Tuesday a little bit earlier because of the, be, just in case the weather turns bad. Um, we'll stop and eat uh, at one of the players' houses and uh, enjoy that again. But uh, our, we, we try to keep our routine as, uh, as patterned as possible uh, for the continuity for the players to understand that no trip is different. Uh, I think as a young head coach, there's always that mustard seed of doubt. It, um, you know, as an assistant, you never make a mistake. Every single suggestion you make, you think is right, uh, and you're never proven wrong. As a head coach, you find out right away a lot of the things that you thought were going to work don't, and that you need great players and you need to be surrounded by great people. And uh, uh, you know, we're not coaching any different than we did the first year when we won nine games. And that still may be one of our best coaching years, uh, being patient and really growing and having that team buy into helping us recruit. Uh, but you win with great people, and that's players and coaches, and fortunately I've been surrounded by them. But uh, there's, there's no doubt, I, I think every coach goes through periods where they question um, if we know what we're doing and if we're talented enough. And, even through all the wins and the success in recent years, there's days when I wake up and, and don't feel as good uh, as a coach, as a coach that I'm preparing to play against. And that, that motivates me. The fear of failure really motivates me to prepare for each game.